you do not want to see grass and mud. Let's talk about how to operate a zero turn mower, whether you are a complete beginner or you are trying to move from expert level 10 to expert level 11. I'm gonna talk about how to operate and then just some tips and tricks there, you know, as far as what you're doing on a zero turn mower. So first of all, how does a zero turn mower work? The basic idea behind a zero turn mower is that you're moving from one transmission to two separate transmissions, and that's what allows you to do a true zero turn, hence the name zero turn. Just to kind of segue for a second, I did a video about Toro zero turns a little while back. For the critics, for the people that are watching the comments, I'm learning from you, okay? So what are we on right now? We're on a Simplicity, and it has ZT 3100 transmissions. There's a transmission driving this wheel and one driving the right wheel. And it's these lap bars that actually control the wheel. So as far as just understanding how it all works, this lever is driving this wheel. If I want to move straight forward, then I want both of the wheels spinning forward. And so what would I do? I would tell this wheel to move forward and that wheel to move forward. They would move simultaneously together. Now, if I want to stop, I would simply just find that neutral point. There's no brake. You know, I see people learning. There's, there's nothing to press to get this to stop, but to pull it back to the neutral point. If you want to go in reverse, you're going to pull these together in reverse. One thing I'll say when I see people learning is a lot of people think that these outer movements have something to do with moving. It's got nothing to do with that. You press these forward or backwards. When you're trying to turn, just move one subtly. Don't try to do both at the exact same time because that's when you start to get out of control. On top of, again, we're talking about those tips, you might tear up your lawn. What you should be doing is a three-point turn when you're actually making a turn. So just as far as starting this more, some of them you need to be sitting on the seat like I'm sitting on right now. There is typically a parking brake. On Simplicities, it's right here. Sometimes there's a lever on the left-hand side. Some of them do not have parking brake levers. You gotta have the parking brake in the up position and you need to have the arm bars completely out. If I don't do one of those steps, like this arm is in or the parking brake is down, nothing's gonna happen when you turn the key. So make sure you've got all those things in order. You're sitting on the seat. Some models, you don't need to be sitting on the seat. Most of the mowers you're probably gonna come across are going to be carbureted. How do you know if it's carbureted? It's going to have a choke right here. Some chokes are a separate thing that you can pull up on like this. Other ones, there will be a little extra lever you can press forward and then you'll have to pull back. Typically for a cold engine, this will have to be choked. Some engines do not need a choke. Let's see right now if I need it. You'll notice when I fired that up, the engine did not sound great. Once it fires up, I wanna press this down as, as fast as I can. If I try to start without the choke, notice that this one doesn't start. Some of them don't need the choke to start. Most will need it. Once this is really warmed up, you will not need to choke it. A lot of mowers, when you pull them in like that, they'll shut off. I think someone disabled the park. Of course, I'm talking about these features. <clears throat> now we're gonna pretend I was just cutting and I'm gonna go ahead and try to start this. Nothing's happening. I've got this up, I'm sitting on the seat. It's not turning on. I really get this all the time. People call me back. There's something wrong with my brand new mower. What, what's the case? You were just mowing. This little yellow thing, that operates your blades. And actually when it's turned off, it operates off a magnet. It's probably hard to hear, but you hear a little clicking sound when it's off. So you gotta make sure that's all the way down as well when you're doing this. So let's go ahead and look at what a three-point turn is. So notice I made a point to turn left and then backwards and then come back through again. And if we look at the grass where I just made that turn, no marks in the grass. So kind of keep that in mind as a pro tip, just to make sure that you're not scuffing up your lawn. Now notice I did a true zero turn where you want to whip it and it feels really cool to be a zero turn. Look at the grass right next to where I just did that. So this is a result of doing a true zero turn. 
And it's important too to know how to move the deck up and down. Really like the interface on these. <coughs> I've got some. Some of them will have a pedal that lifts your deck up and down. Some will have a handle. It depends on the model that you're after. Simplicities are really nice. If I press this pedal and then I pull this to the right, this will drop it to the deck height that I've selected. Toros actually operate pretty similar when you get to a Titan level or above, and you can set this pin to whatever height you want, and then go ahead and drop it there. So that might be a way, or it might be just a lever to kind of set different height adjustments. If we can get this video to a thousand likes, what I want to do is I want to take this from a 101 conversation to expert level. We're going to consult with some professional landscapers, how to get the best quality of cut, how to lay the stripes, how to rake the deck, all these different things that will help you be the best in your field to get people looking towards the lawn that you just cut. And let me know in the comments if you have more questions about how to operate or something's different on your zero trim mower. We're going to get with those questions. Until next time, we'll see you.